Hey, what's up? Uh, this is just kind of a filler video, but uh, I guess it's got a purpose. <laughs> this is basically uh, my collection of Vita games. Uh, I'm still working out the kinks, trying to get everything working, getting the sound working, uh, making sure the frame rate doesn't drop, making sure the signal doesn't drop. Uh, so maybe a well, while before you see any actual gameplay. Uh, but here are my uh, the major games. This is my first page. Uh, this is basically the primary shit that I play a lot uh, when I'm away from home, when I'm on the bus, uh, waiting for the bus, uh, shit like that. Uh, Velocity 2X, uh, if you have PlayStation Plus and you have not downloaded this yet, uh, you're fucking up. <laughs> uh, this is a really great uh, shmup slash platformer hybrid. Uh, really good stuff. Uh, once I get things all stable, uh, I definitely plan on playing this game on, uh, on the channel. Uh, Muramasa Rebirth, uh, I've covered this in detail a little bit a couple months ago. Uh, it's basically the same as the original game, uh, with some minor improvements. Uh, the major reason to buy this game is the DLC. Uh, in my opinion, the DLC is leaps and bounds better than the actual game. <laughs> uh, they definitely put some more effort into it. Uh, the characters are more diverse. Uh, you actually get some nice... You get a nice skill tree instead of just swords that are pretty much exactly the same as from one another. Um, probably be covering this in the near future if I can get things working. Uh, Ragnarok Odyssey Ace, I'm not particularly fond of. Uh, I picked it up on a PS Plus sale a couple months ago for like 17 bucks. Uh, it was fun for the asking price, but uh, not something I would pay you know the asking price of like 40 50 bucks for um it's got pretty shallow combats uh it's got a pretty heavy grind uh, even for a hunting game uh you can just pretty much be at the mercy of the rng if you don't get what you want or uh, what you need for your desired build uh you can trade some things but you can't trade the rarest things so uh you're pretty much at the mercy of <laughs> whatever rng god uh <laughs> hovers over this game so uh, i'm not sure if i'll be playing this on here uh, Dragon's Crown, self-explanatory, uh, nothing really special. Uh, I've covered the game on PS3, and uh, that's a lot easier for me to record. Uh, it's a easier for me to uh, diagnose what's wrong with the recording, so I'm uh, probably not going to be playing the Vita version of this. Uh, Tokiden, I thought was pretty fun. Uh, I picked this up off Craigslist for about 20 bucks. Uh, this was only like a month or two after it came out. I got a, It was a pretty much a steal. Uh, it was a really good deal for the game. Uh, I really liked it. Um, the story is a bit long. Uh, the grind is pretty intense. Uh, it's kind of like Ragnarok Odyssey Ace <coughs> in that regard. Uh, certain things just don't drop. Uh, the Matamas will just not drop for you. Uh, you can grind your balls off for a really long time trying to get it the same dungeon over and over or mission and <laughs> nothing really... You don't really get any fruit from it, but uh, other than that, uh, I really like it. Uh, it's faster, it's more fluid than uh, Monster Hunter type games are. Uh, it's got air combos and stuff like that. Uh, the weapons are all really unique. Uh, once the expansion comes out, once it's localized, uh, I'll definitely be picking it up. Uh, I would import it, but uh, the problem is I would not be able to import my save. Uh, and I put about 50, 60 hours into the game before I stop, so uh, I don't really want to do that, especially given how long and drawn out the story is. Uh, East Memories of Celseta. Uh, I really enjoyed this game. Uh, like I said before, it's, it's admittedly pretty ugly. <laughs> uh, it's definitely not a looker, but uh, the gameplay is really solid. Uh, unfortunately, I'm kind of burnt out on the game. Uh, I got really close to getting the Platinum Trophy, and I was missing like one chest and one search point. Uh, I could not find it for the life of me, so <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'll be bothering to play this on uh, on this channel, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, Tales of Hearts R shouldn't really need any introduction aside from the uh, moon runes in the title there. Uh, this is going to be one of the main games that I uh, cover on this channel uh, once I work out the kinks, so uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, this is Phantom Breaker Battlegrounds. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. It's on the 360. It's the same thing. Uh, it's a really good port. It's just it's kind of a shallow game. Uh, you spend a lot of time spamming the same moves over and over. Uh, it's not really as much depth as I initially thought. Uh, it kind of varies from character to character. But uh, I may revisit this game on 360, since it uh, probably would be in better quality. Uh, Blaze Blue needs no real exp explanation. Uh, it's a really rock-solid, perfect port. Uh, definitely one of the best fighting game ports on the console. Uh, they did a really great job with it. No real problems. Uh, they added a couple little extra things, like the Abyss mode, I think, is enhanced on this version. Uh, I don't really play fighting games competitively anymore, so uh, I kind of like that aspect. You know, you could just kind of dick around. Uh, level up your characters and stuff. 
Uh, this is DW8XL. Uh, this is a pretty good port. Uh, I might go ahead and do a, a quick review of this uh, once I get things working. Um, as you know, it's not really my favorite Muso game, but uh, it's a pretty solid port. Uh, they were able to pretty much fit the entire game into a 3 gig cart, uh, which, given how much content this game has, is really impressive. Uh, this is all pretty much just plus junk. Uh, I may play some of these, but uh, not too sure yet. More plus stuff. Uh, Guacamelee. Uh, this has been rendered uh, obsolete by the Super Turbo Championship Edition, which I have on PC. Uh, you may see some of that in the near future. Uh, more plus stuff. Most of these I have on PC, so <laughs> uh, probably not going to bother hooking up the uh, Vita Capture Card for those. Uh, this is my last page here. Uh, these are all PS1 games, the majority of them from PS Plus. Uh, I may do some Maverick Hunter X speedruns. Uh, I used to speedrun this game uh, back when it initially released on PSP about 10 years ago. So uh, if I get things working, if I can get a good 60 FPS capture off this, uh, I may revisit that. Uh, Rich Racer I just bought. Um, I hear this game has uh, got some pretty shady DLC practices. Uh, they had it on sale for like 6 bucks, so I went ahead and picked it up. Uh, the DLC is really expensive. I hear the game's like pretty much bone dry in terms of content unless you buy it, but uh, other than that, I hear it's great, so uh, I might check this out in the near future. So there is my uh, full Vita lineup. This is pretty much everything I own. Um, I also have a Rochi 3 Ultimate, but uh, that's on my European account because uh, uh, obviously Chin works for Koei Europe. He was not able to hook me up with a uh, English code, but uh, once I get things worked out, I would like to do a review of that port. Uh, it's a really solid port. Uh, definitely a little better than DW8XL. Uh, it does not have the frame rate problems, uh, at least not as often as uh, this one does. So uh, we'll see what happens. So uh, once again, uh, I think I'm going to let the uh, scheduled video backlog go out. Uh, it should take, I think, like five more days until I'm out of scheduled content to put up. Um, that will give me time to get this working, uh, get it up to speed, make sure that it's uh, good quality for you guys. So uh, just uh, be considerate. Uh, I know you guys want to see this, but uh, it's not working too well right now. So uh, just give me some time. Uh, probably around this time next week, I should have things in working order. Thanks for watching, and thanks to everybody who donated. Uh, it really means a lot to me. Uh, I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that uh, <laughs> I didn't go spend the money on, you know, <laughs> who knows what. I didn't spend it on anything else. Uh, it's right here in my hands now, so uh, hopefully I'm able to get this working. Thanks for watching. Peace.